Hello everyone, welcome to INSP. Guys, today this is a very special problem and uh, here also we are going to use unique vector triangle. You have uh, seen in uh, many problems I use this uh, vector triangle and it gives a very nice solution to all the problems. So here just uh, pay attention to this. Here is the problem from INSP portal. A wedge of mass m rests on a horizontal table. A mass of uh, a ball of mass m falls on top of the wedge. Determine the angle alpha at the base of the wedge, and it is known that after elastic impact on the wedge, the ball bounced horizontally parallel to the base of the wedge, and uh, wedge begin to move forward. The friction between all the surfaces can be neglected, so we have to comment on this uh, angle alpha. So concept wise, here you can uh, see. The change in velocity will always occur along the direction of force or impulse on the particle. So this in this case since friction is not present definitely this force is going to be perpendicular to inclined plane we can say. So first thing which we are uh, doing is this is the impact line here. Alright so I am writing definition of E. Let's say after collision this is moving horizontally with the velocity of U and this is moving this side with the velocity of V. So definition of E we can write velocity of approach so approach will happen along this line and it is v not cos alpha and separation is going to happen along this line so this is u cos 90 minus alpha which is u sin alpha plus v sin alpha so u sin alpha plus v sin alpha and here i can uh, easily write tan alpha is equal to v naught by u plus v another one i can write conservation of momentum along uh, horizontal direction so mu is equal to mv so here if i substitute the value of v I am getting this tan alpha in terms of V naught and U naught. Basically in this particle we are going to apply vector triangle. So now you can say force or impulse which is perpendicular to inclined plane. So this is your inclined plane. And this is the initial uh, velocity vector and this is the inclined plane. So perpendicular to this will be change in velocity. You can check here if this is V initial vector and this is v final vector so this is going to be the direction of impulse on the particle which is perpendicular to the which is perpendicular to the inclined plane so this angle is alpha this is alpha this is alpha i can say tan alpha is directly u by v naught and tan alpha here we have calculated m v naught by u m plus capital m so combining these values i'm getting tan alpha tan square alpha is equal to capital M by small m plus m and alpha is tan inverse of root of capital M by m plus m. It is such a nice problem and uh, you can see this vector triangle will keep coming. You can use uh, <coughs> conservation of uh, kinetic energy also in this uh, particular case but you have to solve a quadratic equation in that. So instead of that you can uh, use this. And guys uh, this is the special offer and today is the last day for it and uh, some of you can get uh, great benefits here. 30% uh, uh, like 3 months, 6 months, 9 months, 18 months, 30 months and if you want to connect with me on an academy for uh, classes you can use my code Nitin sir and a crash course is starting uh, it started on November 24th and it is also our uh, crash course and uh, there is uh, for 2025 also there is uh, <coughs> early growth batch and it's starting on uh, November 24th so you can uh, look for these uh, batches and here you can see uh, this is all stars so that's it guys in this video I hope you have learned this and uh, many more videos are uh, coming today I'll be giving many more questions to solve and, and in upcoming weeks those questions either will come on forums or will be coming on uh, uh, rank booster problems in the INSP web portal so just uh, tune in for that Thank you. Thanks for watching it.